Hi everyone. I wanted to show you the faux rice paper that I made. Um, I just took a couple of plain napkins where you buy like a big pack of the napkins that are kind of folded up in a square. And so I took that, I laid down some plastic and then took the napkins, made some like a, a thin Mod Podge kind of deal and I added in some brown paint and so it made it this nice brown color. And then I also took and added some of these uh, beautiful dried flowers, took another layer of napkin over it, glued it, let it dry, and I just sat mine outside and let it air dry. It really has a neat feel to it. I just absolutely love it. And then of course the addition of the flowers in there, I just really like it. And it does work best if you just have uh, real thin, lightweight flowers, no bulky stems, um, you know, because that could break through. And then here's the back of it. It got a little bit of a, a sheen, as you can see, just from the, um, you know, the gloss in the glue but I'm really, really pleased with that. And then here was the other one that I made. This one has some clovers, some other um, leaves, and some rose petals. Um, most of this stuff is just stuff I picked out of my yard, except for the rose petals. Those came from bouquets, and I like to press uh, those into books and let them dry and so they were nice and flat so I used those so I absolutely love it and I think what I'm going to do is make um, a little pouch that will go inside of my junk journal as part of the tutorials that we're doing so I might do something like this I might even take and just cut it in half maybe make two pouches haven't quite decided yet uh, but that will be um, another tutorial that we'll have coming up later for now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I made these if you want to stay tuned for that so the first thing I did was take some glue. You can use Elmer's glue. I did about a half a cup of glue and almost a fourth of a cup of water. It's about, you know, a two to one ratio there. And then I took some Finnebear Umber liquid acrylic paint and I probably put in um, maybe a half a teaspoon um, and just to give it a real nice um, you know kind of mocha color just I really love it and of course when it dried you know it really has this nice look now you can use any kind of plastic saran wrap um, I had this um, Aldi bag and it kind of had like some some holes in it and I thought well you know I don't want to put groceries in it because <laughs> you know I'd hate to be carrying it and the groceries just fall right out so <laughs> um, so I just cut it along the sides and I'm gonna glue my napkin down you know, do everything on the one side and then I've got the other side that I'll pull out and do and repeat the step and then just sit it all out uh, outside uh, you know on a nice sunny windy day and just let it dry it'll dry pretty quick and then you can uh, you know take the pages off turn them and you know let that bottom part dry too and so I'm um, I followed a couple of different uh, tutorials just kind of you know just kind of getting a feel of you know of what they're doing and um, I'll have to see I can't remember the exact tutorial um, but she used hers with some coffee I think it was coffee that she mixed with the glue and which I really liked that dark color so this is going to more or less replicate that um, these are some flowers that I picked in my backyard and you know me and my kids we love to go out and you know pick flowers and stuff and so we put them in a basket brought them in and then pressed them in a book so after a couple of weeks you know they were ready 
and so I'm just kind of laying them down some of them have the stems on them which these are very thin um, you know soft stems uh, you don't want anything thick or coarse because it could rip through your napkin so I'm just placing it down and I want to put a pretty good bit because I have a ton of dried flowers and you know foliage leaves petals so I'm trying to use up quite a bit of it here uh, so I'm just having fun placing it and then um, you know you just want to sit your napkin on top so I'm wanting to make sure I've got it turned right here sometimes it's kind of hard <laughs> Okay, so I don't have it turned right, so let me get it turned the right way. <laughs> and then I'm just going to lay it down. You know, just kind of press it down and then go back over with the glue. And I'm not totally saturating it. I know I have seen some of the tutorials where they are uh, just totally saturating it. Um, personally, for me, I just don't like that. I think you know um, I don't think you have to have it swimming in it because I don't I don't really want the top and the bottom of the napkin to be shiny I want the top part of it to not be shiny um, if that makes sense <laughs> so because um, I really want to make it look as close to rice paper as possible because I love rice paper it's just so beautiful I love the feel and the texture of it and so that's really what I'm just trying to replicate here. So this piece is done and what I want to do to make it easier to get up off the plastic once it's dried, I'm taking my paintbrush and just kind of curling up the edges a little bit around all four sides of the napkin. Uh, it's just going to help it to separate as it dries and make it easier for me to pull off of the plastic bag. I actually like having this bag like this. It makes it so easier to just pull this bottom part out and just get started on the other side. And then of course it's got the handles on each side and so you can just carry it outside. <laughs> it makes it completely so much easy, so much easy. Now on the first one, I put a layer of glue down first and then I laid the napkin over. I wanted to try and see about just laying the napkin down and then start with the gluing process. Um, I think I like it better putting some glue down first and then laying the napkin over it. Um, it just seemed to be easier to get that extra layer of glue onto the napkin. but you know it to each his own you know so however you want to do that i just wanted to try it both ways and see but i think i liked it the way i did it the first time um, so either way you know i'm just finishing up putting the glue on i basically don't want to see any white areas um, that's how um, you know that you're ready for the next step when you don't see any white areas and then I'll start putting, um, you know, some, I've got some dried rose petals and I've also got some foliage, you know, little stems and leaves and they're real uh, flat and lightweight, real soft. So, you know, I figure, well, that's safe, <laughs> you know, to put down. So I'm gonna just start laying some of that down. Also got some little clovers these are little three leaf clovers they're just so cute just absolutely love them and um you know i just thought you know just the different colors and the different you know the variety and what you put in between the layers of the napkins i just absolutely love it
So that looks pretty good, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the napkin on. Um, I never know which way to turn the napkin because one side is shorter and one side's longer. It's basically kind of like a rectangle. And so I never know which way. Um, so I'm trying to, trying to make sure it's gonna lay down evenly. And you know, just kind of pat it with your hands, get it down good, and then start with the next layer of glue. And just apply glue until you don't see any white. If everything looks, you know, adhered, the napkin is, you know, pretty good and stuck to your rose petals or whatever you're putting in, in between the layers. Um, you know, I think it'll look, look really nice. And when it dries, it'll just really have that neat feel. So I'm done with this one and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of curl up the edges a little bit all around the napkin. That's really going to help for me to separate it. Um, so once I finish this part, I'm gonna go sit them outside, let them dry, and then I will pull the papers off or the napkins off. <laughs> And, um, and I'm gonna let it flip and then sit it out and let it dry on the other side. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions at all, feel free to let me know. Thank you so much for watching.